in today's session we are going to discuss about system notification so system notifications guys um, whenever something has happened in service now let us say whenever a record is created or updated or resolved or closed our comments are updated immediately service no can send notifications immediately service no can send notifications well <clears throat> service no can send three types of notifications okay email notifications push notifications the provider notification service now can send three types of notifications mail notifications push notifications and provider notifications email notifications means when something has happened in service now service now will be sending an email to email inbox service now will be sending an email to email inbox okay well push notifications well guys in the mobile we will be getting some messages like your order has been received your order has been delivered something like that we will see some messages right those are actually called push notifications those are called push notifications so service now can send also mobile notifications as well <clears throat> and provider notifications provider notifications in the sense Okay. Just a moment, guys.
okay <clears throat> because uh, i was talking to my sister she gave interview in the us i was uh, just checking the feedback so she said it went well okay so well guys uh, <clears throat> service now can send an email notification to the email inbox second one service now can send a, a notification to the mobile that is actually called push notification service now can also send notifications whenever send a notification you will see notification here these are called provider notifications these are called provider notifications okay <clears throat> so out of these email notification push notification and provider notification most preferable notification is email notification okay most preferable notification is email notification so we primarily focus on email notifications so most of the organizations 99% of the organizations they use email notifications only well we will now discuss about email notification email notification whenever shipping case record is created service now has to send an email notification service now has to send an email notification then service now can send an email notification to the respective people whenever the shipping case is updated shipping case short description is updated it will send a it will send an email to the respective person now the shipping case is resolved now the shipping case is closed okay it will send an email okay got my point right so <clears throat> emails can be triggered in four ways emails can be email notifications see here in the system notifications we have three types of notifications out of them email is actually one of the type so we are now discussing about email notifications these email notifications can be triggered in four ways okay when inserted when inserted or updated Okay. Event is fired. Event is fired. Triggered. Workflow. These are the four ways where we can trigger the email notification. <clears throat> where we can trigger the email notification in today's session in today's session we will understand about these two ways when record inserted or updated <clears throat> when record inserted or updated hmm? when event is fired okay first we will see when record is inserted or updated how we will send an email first of all go to the shipping case form I think we have written query business rule, right? Maybe that could be the reason. Let me deactivate that query business rule. <clears throat> right click configure business rules.
all are inactive. So whenever I create a shipping case record, whenever I create shipping case record, okay, after record is created, the email should go to caller, whoever is there in the caller field. Let us say in the caller field, if it is there, Abdul Kalam name, the email should go to Abdul Kalam email address. Okay. And if, um, um, uh, and also along with the caller assignment group members also should receive the email. So this is an assignment group. Assignment group field is actually referencing a group table. So as it is referencing group table, as it is referencing group table, in the group field, we have group email address. If it has group email address, it will send an email to group email. If there is no group email address, it will send an email to the group members email address. It will send an email to group members email address. So now I created a record, right? As soon as I created the record, the service now has sent to service now has to send an email to the caller who is there in the caller and who is there in the assignment group. The group member should receive the email. For that, I am creating a system notification. Go to system notification. Uh, under system notification, you can see this is actually email is one type. She is actually one type. Provider is actually an another type. So we are concentrating on email. Okay. So go to notifications here. Create a new notification. Okay. So, <clears throat> in case creation, the table will be shipping case. So well, here, guys, you should, you have three tabs here. System notification, you have three tabs here. Maybe in the interview question, this, this will be asked. Okay. Uh, when record inserted or updated. See, when to send means when, when the email should be sent. Trigger point. Okay. Trigger point. Record inserted or updated. I told you, right? There are four trigger points. Inserted or updated. And event is fired, triggered, and workflow. You can see in the when to send, when record inserted or updated, event is fired, triggered, and flow, workflow is not there here. Workflow is separate one. Workflow is separate one. So that means when record inserted or updated, event is fired, trigger. These three you can see. Okay. I am selecting when record inserted or updated. Record inserted or updated. Okay. Then you will select inserted here. Who will receive? So who should receive the email? So here these are actually static users. These are static users. If you select a static user, the email always will go to the same person. It is not our requirement, right? So this is actually a static group. If you select a static group, the email will always go to the same group members. So it is not our requirement, right? What is our requirement? The email should go to whoever is there in the caller and whoever is there in the assignment group. So then you have to choose users groups in fields. 
Okay. I have to select a caller here. Whoever is there in the caller field, that person will be receiving the email as well as assignment group. Okay. So who should receive the email and all you selected here and what it will contain. So email, email subject, email body and all you have to define here. <clears throat> so dollar flower brackets, u underscore number. If you want to show the number in the, so if you want to show the values on the email notification, you have to use dollar flower brackets field name. Dollar flower brackets field name to show the field values. In case has been created, please follow below link for further update. I'm using dollar flower brackets URI. URI means it's a link, record link. Okay. So dollar flower brackets URI underscore ref means it's a link referencing number. It's a link referencing number. Okay. It's a link referencing number, guys. Okay. So you are URI means it's a link. URI underscore ref means okay. It's a link with the number. Link with the number. Okay. I want to show the record details in the table format. Okay. Color, color value. You want to get the color value dollar flower brackets. You underscore color. Okay, configuration item. Dollar flower brackets. Configuration item. Short description. Dollar flower brackets.
I'm just saying many thanks. Okay. Okay, this is what the email that I composed. It should be the subject, this should be the message body. Then you created a system notification, system email notification. Okay. So first of all, you have created a system notification on the shipping case table. When to send means when record inserted. Okay. When record when, when record inserted. Okay. And who will receive? Caller and assigned to will receive. What it will contain? Subject and body. So now what I will do is I'll create a new shipping case record. Okay, Abel. Abel is the caller. And here software is the segment group. Software group has no email. We'll see if there are any group members or not. There are six group members. Okay. So here, now the record is created. And this email has been sent or not, we will check. So if the email has been sent or not, you can check it in the email logs. Go to emails under system definition, system log. Go to the emails. Okay. Type the subject as shipping case. So in the behind, uh, there are a lot of incidents are getting created. <clears throat> Maybe because of scheduled jobs or some other reason. You can see a lot of incidents are getting created. Today itself, you can see created on today itself. So you can see 78,000 notifications. 78,000 notifications in the sense it's not a small job, small issue. I have to... Reset my instance once. Why is this notification not sent? So able tutor is an active member or not? We'll check first. Able tutor is an active member.
the email is sent or not will we'll do one thing we'll go to the notification let me add a related list here Why is this email not sent? Maybe the processing might get delayed. Because there are so many notifications that are running, right? So today itself, there are 50,000 or around uh, notifications are sent. There must be a process delay. Okay. You can check it in your personal developer and since it is sending out or not, you can check it clearly here. Okay, <clears throat> so whenever a record is created, uh, this notification will be sent. Who it will, whom it will send, it will send an email notification to caller and assignment group. This will be the subject. So we'll see if we have anything that is sent here. So here I have so many notifications uh, uh, here in my uh, email logs, guys, because my system is sending too many email notifications. Okay. So that might be the reason it is delaying the process, but you can check it in your personal developer instance if it is sending an email in the email logs. Well, here I am actually creating another email notification. Okay. This is actually whenever the whenever you change the short description here. Whenever you change the short description. Okay. Whenever you change the short description. Immediately, it should send an email to the assigned to person who is assigned, right? Okay. Whenever it is, whenever the short description is changed, whoever whoever it is, send. 
person should receive an email so i am actually creating a system email notification update so what i am doing here is instead of select inserted i am selecting updated i am just selecting here the condition as short description changes whenever the short description changes after every update whenever the short description changes here in the who will receive it will be assigned to it will be assigned to okay and what it will contain means here i'm just keeping updated okay i'm not changing anything i'm just uh, changing the updated here i'm creating another email notification see email notification will be sent whenever the short description is updated on a record okay let us say i'm just changing this short description here as soon as i change the short description whoever whomever it is assigned so that person will be receiving the email notification that person will be receiving the email notification so whenever the shipping case is set as state state is set as resolved shipping case state is set as resolved immediately the caller should receive an email so case resolution so how many notifications you want to create those many notifications you can create okay update when to send it is actually on the record update when state changes to resolved state changes to resolved okay caller right okay so this notification will be sent on every update when state changes to resolve okay so whenever you change the state to resolved automatically the email notification will go to the caller saying that shipping case has been resolved so similarly whenever the shipping case is closed okay so on closure also i want to send an email notification state changes to closed who will receive caller and assignment group both what it will contain in the subject i am keeping it as closed okay so whenever the shipping case is state is set as closed this email notification will be triggered this email notification will send out an email notification to the caller and assignment group the caller and assignment group okay take my point similarly whenever the state is changed to closed we want to send a notification then you can also send a notification on cancelled as well okay okay
Now guys, uh, suppose whenever the shipping case is deleted, I have to send an email to the caller. Whenever I delete a shipping case, I have to send an email to the caller. Is there any delete operation here? Only insert and update, right? What can I do? Whenever the shipping case is deleted, I have to send an email to the caller. I have to send an email to the caller. How can I achieve this requirement? So that is where you have to use event is fired. That is where you have to use event is fired. So that event is fired and all we'll be discussing on Monday. That's a little bit uh, um, uh, interesting and tricky topic. You have to you have to listen to the topic focusly. Only then you will be able to understand it. Okay, you are able to understand, right? So here we have only inserted or updated. What about delete? Whenever a record is deleted, I have to send an email to the caller. Then that is where we have to use event notification. So um, there are some requirements where you have to, you cannot use inserted or updated. So let me give you one example here. So in service now, there is an approval table, guys. There is an approval table. All the approvals will be stored in the approval table. All the approvals are stored in the approval table. Okay. So I have to check all the approvals which are in the requested state. I want to check all the approvals which are in the requested state. Okay. If these approvals are created, this is created 11 days ago. If the approvals are created before 7 days ago, before 5 days ago, then I have to send a reminder notifications. Approval has been sent out. Please take the appropriate action. Like say, Likewise, I have to send a reminder notification. For that, what I will do, I will write a scheduled job daily. I'll write, a, I'll write a scheduled job that runs daily. I will query this approval table where state is requested. I'll loop through each record. Each record create a time I will take. I'll I'll take the date difference between approval create a time and today's time. I'll take the date difference between approval create a time and today's time. If the today's time and approval create a time date difference is more than five days. I have to send out an email. So here, when the date difference is more than five days, I have to send out an email. So the condition is different here. See, it is not inserted or updated. Here it is inserted or updated, right? But here, when the um, date difference is more than five days, I have to send an email. So that is where this inserted and updated will not work here. That is where event-based event-based system notifications will work. That is where we have to go for event is fired. In that case, you cannot select inserted or updated. Getting my point? There is no delete operation. So, but delete operation is there in the business rules. You remember? Delete operation is there in the business rule. Well, um, if I want to take the date difference between two days, and uh, if I want to take the date difference between approval created date and uh, current date, if the date difference is greater than or equal to five days, then I have to send an approval. So in that case, event is fired is involved. Getting my point. So in that case, record is inserted or updated won't work. So that is actually event-based notifications. That will be discussing it in a Monday session. Okay. Any questions from anyone, guys? Everyone, is Anil not there on the call? <clears throat> Guys, Anikar, 
Hari, any questions? Answer is equal to true means you are telling, you are giving green signal. Answer is equal to true means green signal. Answer is equal to false means red signal. Answer is a keyword. Predefined service no provided keyword. So you will get answer. Uh, see, you might have seen answer in the view rules also. You might have seen answer. You, you will be seeing answer in different places across the service node. No, it will work only for one script. Nah. Whatever the script that you write, in that script only, answer will answer is equal to true, answer is equal to false. It won't impact other scripts. No, no need to declare a where, where keyword. Directly write answer. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. You can, you can. Hmm. See, get XML will give you the answer in a, a asynchronous way, but you will get it in XML format. That when you use get XML, you have to use response dot response XML dot document element dot get attribute that answer. If you don't, if you don't use a get XML answer, you will have to write this line. If you use get XML. You have to write response dot response xml dot document element dot get attribute the answer. If you are writing get xml answer, just use callback function. You will get the response in the callback function. Any questions from anyone, guys? If no questions, we'll wind up the session and we'll be seeing on Monday session. Okay. Okay, guys, we see you, see you there in Monday session. Thank you, everyone.